This 60 behind me has been in the family since it was bought in, on the 10th month, 1989. Now Nathan's brought this one down. His grandfather had bought this one in Brisbane, so it's a Queensland rig and it stayed in Queensland, uh, registered in Queensland all its life. Uh, it's now been passed down to Nathan's mum and now Nathan himself is getting involved in keeping this one in this pristine condition. Now, Nathan's grandfather, has been round Australia two, maybe three times. He used to go, um, they used to go prospecting for um, opals and stones, and then his grandmother would then turn them into jewelry, and they, they just, that's what they did. He was a maths teacher, and they just enjoyed this rig. This has done some kilometers. Um, Nathan was even saying that there's, um, there's a rumor that this, it's got 420,000 Ks on the clock, but there's a rumor that it's been round the clock, but that can't be uh, corroborated, but, just looking at it, you wouldn't think so. This thing is an absolute beauty. They have done a bit of paint and panel on it to bring it back to this, this beautiful white. Um, they've recreated the original decals that, that went down the side of it when it was bought here in Brisbane. It's an absolute beauty. It's got an, um, Nathan's got a few things he wants to do to it going into the future. The old aluminium ball bar that he's got on the front there, the TGM one, he wants to swap out for a, a steel bar. The roof rack on the top of this, um, they, they take kayaks out to, um, to the lakes uh, and the dams and it sticks up too far so he wants to get a more low lying roof rack um, for the top of the 60 here get rid of that king's thing it's got a king's awning on the other side as well um, on the outside that is pretty much it it is just immaculate the, the 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 flares the rear bar on this thing is absolutely immaculate just been brought back there is i did notice unfortunately a tiny little bit of rust just bubbling through on the other gutter which is a shame but they're going to get that looked out um, the left hand guard's also got another bit, but they're on top of this, always on top of it, so they'll get that sorted by the, the panel beater. Come and check out this thing inside. It's, um, it's just, it's definitely been used, it's been worked, but it's, it's beautiful nonetheless. Now in here, it's not the cleanest thing in the world, but that is because it is still a daily driver. Nathan's mum um, is a gardener by trade, and um, she uses this thing every day. Now, the, the, all the door cards, the seats, the carpet, everything is original. Just check out the dash. This dash is totally uncracked, unripped. We've got the um, the original double din stereo here from back in the day. Uh, would have come out with that. And other than that, you know, we got we got a switch, but there's been nothing cut into the dash. Um, it's all absolutely original, apart from a little mobile phone holder, which obviously wouldn't have been there back in the day. Um, center console we've had a look under these seat covers and for its age and the amount of k's this thing's done they're in great condition up here uh, we've got what looks like an frp roof console um, with an old school uhf which is cool man that looks period as well um, the, the roof lining's in pretty good nick missing a they're always missing the uh, the, the cover for the the interior light there but other than that this thing's pretty stock standard in here there's nothing in the back to talk about it's um apart from a a cigarette lighter I can see right in the back there for something but that's it this thing is a gem now by the way under the bonnet of this bad boy it's the uh, HJ61 so it's got the mighty 12 HT and just check this engine bay out it's just as clean in the out as the outside nothing's been touched everything in its right position apart from um, I see there's an aftermarket lid on the washer bowl now Nathan has an awesome story of how he found us here at Mr Land Cruiser he had never heard of us, never knew we existed, but um, Nathan is a, he's a, a recreational pilot and he's, he's, he's training for his commercial helicopter license at the moment. Now, a few of you know, next door to us is Caboolture Airport. He was taken off one day in a little Eurofox. He's looked out of his right-hand window and what he sees is just a sea of Land Cruisers, 40 series and 60 series. And he was just, um, he was intrigued, so he had to come and see us. He's been in a few times now. Um, this is probably his fourth visit. Had to show this thing off. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, it's not only Pops, Grandpa, that went around Australia in this thing. These guys use this. They've already been out to Longreach, Carnarvon Gorge. Um, they've, their future plans now, he's put some um, suspension under there. It's West Coast Springs. A suspension upgrade in there. So it's a two inch lift, all new shockies, steering dampener, everything. They're getting ready for a brand new trip out to Carnarvon Gorge. The family just does not stop enjoying this thing and hopefully this thing will go on for many years uh, serving this family. I hope it stays there forever. HJ61.